It was a world of hula hoops and bobby soxers. One man and one station owned radio in Indianapolis. Sky high ratings, unparalleled popularity. Then on Halloween night, 1963, everything changed. Wife was so big, it was just, it's hard to believe how big it was. I mean, you, you couldn't have anything. A tornado wouldn't have that big an impact on a community today. The thing about WIFE, when they first hit the air, they became on very, very strong with lots of exciting personalities, lots of energy. Top 40 music, disciplined playlists, nonstop promotions, big, big contests. And they really turned the town on the tier. The ratings that Wife Radio had are unlike any radio station in the marketplace has ever had. Meanwhile, just up the street from Wife on the FM band. The rat. It was all out war. 45 singles versus album cuts. AM radio versus FM radio. The good guys versus the buzzard. The world was changing and we played the music that reflected those changes. People who had been current or in vogue, many of them got buried because they didn't change. They were probably more like bad boys where we were the wife good guys. I think WNAP created a new kind of radio for America. We liked each other. We loved what we were doing. We were too young and stupid to know that it couldn't be done. We were rebels. Anything that WIFE did, we would do our best to do the opposite. When WIFE decided to slam the door on the doors, we played them every hour. Oh, yeah! And then disco came in, and that was my fault. Radio Wars. It was a rock and roll death match, and listeners had a ringside seat. God darn it. Are we still on the air? Are we, are we still on the air, guys? God darn it, we are.